Hello YouTube, Gabo here. Well, for the past three or four months I was trying to uh, make a moot boot setup on my MacBook Pro and well, I did it so I was hoping and planning to show you how and give you some tips and hints about uh, it because, well, if I, I, I did go online for most of that and I was having the hardest time to find uh, information and content uh, about uh, multi-booting or aka uh, having more than three or uh, more than three OS's booting natively on my machine so uh, since uh, a lot of tutorials tells you how to well uh, moot, uh, dual boot and triple boot and never get to the point of uh, multi-booting. I I plan I plan to show you uh, stuff uh, to well help you in this endeavor. Okay, so I'm gonna show you here uh, in this video. Oh, uh, I must warn you, this is just part one, and. I up to now I got like uh, seven eight parts already and well part one uh, will cover up things like what is this video for and why mode booting and part two uh, will cover up uh, will will try I will try to explain a little about partition tables bootloaders and file systems uh, and if you think you are past that, you can uh, safely skip uh, part two, part one now and part two and move uh, and jump right into part three, when uh, where I um, will be explaining, uh, will be uh, telling you things about preparations and well how to set up really. I must warn you too that this is not a uh, a pretty little step by step video, okay? So I will get there in the step by step part. Well, uh, but now I will. I was hoping to make some discussion with you about why. Uh, sorry, what is this video for and why mute booting, okay? So, well, first, uh, this video is not about uh, mode booting on any machine, okay? So, this video is really about uh, mode booting Mac machines, uh, MacBook Pros, iMacs, I guess, uh, MacBooks and Mac Minis, okay? And, well, not uh, iPods and that stuff, but uh, Apple Macintosh uh, computers, okay? Well, and this uh, video is uh, not about uh, multi-booting on a Hackintosh machine, a Hackintosh setup, because I don't know how to do that, and I don't have any Hackintosh uh, machine running, and, well, I'm sorry for that, because I have a MacBook Pro, and uh, that's it. If you are interested in multi-booting on a Hackintosh machine, you can go online and look up for that, okay? So, why multi-booting? Uh, I believe you can be asking yourself that now or not, you can be past that. Uh, but if you are, and you are asking why Linux, and is Linux a good OS, and uh, is Linux uh, compatible with your MacBook Pro or your Mac Macintosh machine? Uh, I would say yes, I would say yes to that with uh, some regards, okay, some exceptions. Uh, but uh, why, why Windows? I, I guess you have that clean, cleared up because uh, uh, Windows is a good OS to play games and since I'm a nerd and I like to play games I, I, I want a Windows on my setup 
and uh, but Linux is kind of uh, hard. I mean, it can be hard if you are a new user, okay? So, well, think about that. But uh, I really like Linux. I I am trying. I am a, I am experimenting it right now, and uh, till now I I am very I am very happy with it. And I, I can't say it's running really smooth on my MacBook, okay. So, yeah, I, I would I would say that we are curious and we want uh, new stuff, okay. So since I I am a nerd and I like games and like new games, I like experimenting new games. I. I said to myself, why not uh, experiment in new OSs? And that's it. I, I don't know. If you don't have this figure out, you can uh, look up online and uh, watch and look for people uh, talking about that. Okay. Uh, so, yes, is this is possible to do uh, since I have a a 7 OS uh, machine running right now, okay. Uh, my setup has 7 OSs right now, uh, including uh, Mac OS X, Windows XP, uh, Arch Linux, uh, Ubuntu Linux, Linux Mint, Sabayon Linux, and FreeBSD, which is not Linux, and later uh, we'll, I can explain better of that too uh, but yes it's possible uh, totally uh, but uh, depending on your perspective of possible okay so yeah Arch Linux is running smooth but it has really nothing because uh, the installation process is uh, a little bit uh, uh, new user unfriendly actually uh, but you can just stall and uh, have it there and you can uh, build it up okay uh, okay so let's talk about our major goal here okay our major goal is to set up okay as you can see here, I, I got this figure out. Uh, set up a multi-boot, meaning three or more OSs, meaning for me, obviously, three or more OSs. Booting natively, okay? Uh, well, what does it mean? Uh, it means uh, I'm, not, I'm not using any kind of virtualization, like VirtualBox, or VMware, uh, I'm, I'm actually having them, uh, as you can see here, uh, booting up on different drives, different disks, and they are installed in different disks, okay? Um, and that's pretty good, okay? I, I like that. And if you are uh, if you are planning to have a some kind of virtual setup a virt with virtual box or VMware uh, running inside your Mac OS or your Windows uh, installation, uh, maybe this guide won't be fitting on your plans. Okay, so this is our major goal. Uh, and in addition to that I could say and uh, have a a single uh, shared okay shared uh, partition because uh, uh, since I am on a MacBook Pro and I don't have uh, all the space in the world uh, I have all, only up to 500 gigs I 
I guess it's pretty neat, okay? Uh, having a partition, uh, as you can see here, and I call that data, data partition. As you can see, I have a single partition with all my uh, important data, like uh, games, like movies and music, pictures and stuff, series either, and in a single partition that uh, all my OSs can access. Okay, so this is my two major goals. Okay, and I think it's that it's about that for my first part. And I'm I'm cutting now, and uh, let's hope you jump to part two. Uh, but uh, on part two, as I said, we are going to talk about partition tables, bootloaders, and file systems. And if you already know a uh, little bit about that, uh, you can safely skip to part three, okay? So, bye-bye.